What's up UTA? Welcome to the Shorthorn After Dark and here is your top story for March 3rd, 2010. <music> Diversity and culture was running wild, in a good way, Wednesday at MavFest at the UC Mall. The third annual event was a part of Diversity Week and featured multiple dance performances and a fashion show depicting the evolution of Indian clothing in the past 50 years. The Office of Disabilities and Multicultural Affairs hosted the event, which featured between 10 to 15 student organizations, including the Black and Muslim Student Associations. Mr. UTA Omar Rosales was one of the hosts of MavFest and talked about the importance of diversity at UTA. I think it's really important to have diversity in this campus because um, once you get into the real world, you'll realize that globalization um, is a big factor and you'll have people that come from all the way other, on the other side of the world and you're, if you're not used to it, you'll be uncomfortable and unless you can get used to diversity and have it as an advantage instead of an obstacle, then that's going to help you out in the long run in your career. With the groundbreaking of the Special Events Center just days away, the university released the floor plans to the more than 200,000 square foot complex. The arena seats 6,600 and also features two indoor basketball courts, a student academic center, and six hospitality suites. Be sure to log on to theshorthorn.com for a look at what else will be in the SEC. I don't want this to just be like a, like a publicity stunt, if you will, you know what I mean? I don't want this to be just like something that goes on for a week and then it's over because ultimately that doesn't accomplish anything. I mean, I want this to be a consistent thing. First term so, science senator Brian Ravkind will be setting up a booth every Tuesday and Thursday in front of the library to reach out to his constituents. He says student congress needs to make it easier for students to contact and inform their representatives. I want to make it very clear that there's a person behind this and a person who does have the power to try and put the, like, you know, put it through the proper legislation and make it happen. The men's basketball team rounded out their last home game against Nichols State Wednesday night. The Shorthorn Sports Editor, Clint Utley, has an update from Texas Hall. The men's basketball team lost its final home game of the season Wednesday night in Texas Hall to Nichols State by the score of 73 to 64. Senior night did not go as planned as the Mavs committed 22 turnovers. Nichols State junior forward Anatoly Bowes scored 26 points, and UTA senior guard Marquez Haynes finished with 25. The Mavs' is South and Conference record falls to 8 and 7. We're working on these stories and more. Be sure to pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on Racks across campus Thursday or log on to theshorthorn.com for extras. I'm Chase Webster, and thanks for watching The Shorthorn After Dark.